in financial mathematics, there is a topic called reinvestment rates. And the concept essentially is just taking money away from one place and then dumping it into another place. So the best way to understand this concept is through an example. So here I have this problem. We have money in fund X, and then we're going to dump money into fund Y at regular intervals. So what go what's going on in this problem is that we have fund X, so we have a timeline, and then we start off with having $1,000. And then after a time period of one year, we're going to have, we're going to earn interest, so we're going to get $1,060. And then what we're going to do is to take some of that money, and then we're going to dump it into fund Y, which is earning at 9% interest. So this is 6% interest. So we're going to take away the interest, which is $60. And then we're also going to take an additional $100. So we're going to also going to dump an additional $100 into fund Y. So after taking away the interest and $100, you're going to be left with $900. And then the same pattern occurs. You're going to earn a bit of interest. It's going to accumulate up to 954. And then you're going to take away the interest, dump it into fund Y, take away $100, dump it into fund Y and then you're going to be left with $800. So you see that this pattern just keeps continuing. So after taking away the money, you're left with $713, and it just keeps on going. And then at time 10, you're going to take away $100, $100 and the interest, and you're going to be left with zero. So you see this process repeats up to time 10. And by time 10, you're going to be, going to be left with $0. And then meanwhile here, every year you're just going to receive $100 plus some interest. So just just keeps on going all the way up to time 10, so $100. So you see that uh, you can d divide the payments that you're putting into fund Y into two parts. First, there is the $100 at time 1, time 2, time 3, all the way to time 10. So if I'm looking for the accumulated value at time 10, which is what I'm looking for, so f the accumulated value of fund Y at the end of year 10, this is this part over here. This is just an annuity immediate, right? So it's just 100 times S10. Meanwhile, on the second line, this is the interest. This is actually a decreasing annuity. So 60 is actually just 1,000 times 0 0.06. So originally we have $1,000. We earn 6% interest. So 1,000 times 0 0.06. 54 is just 900 times 0 0.06. So we have $900, and then we earn 0.066% of interest. And the same thing happens. At time 3, the amount of interest is 800 times 0 0.06. And then it just keeps on going. So next time period, it's just 700 times 0 0.06. And then it goes all the way to time 10. So by the end, we're going to have 100 times 0 0.06, which is just $6. So you can view it like this. So after all the withdrawals at time 9, we are going to be left with $100. And then this final time period, this $100, is going to earn 6% interest. So the amount of interest is just 100 times 0 0.06. So the accumulated value, due to this decreasing annuity, we have a symbol for that. So essentially it's just 100 times 0 0.06 times DS10. So the accumulated value, the final accumulated value at time y, uh, at fund y, at the end of year 10, is just the sum of both of these. So you just have to add both of these together. So uh, long story short, it means our answer is actually given by this uh, expression. So 100 times 0, 0 0.06, that's just 6, 9%. All you have to do is just to substitute the formulas into these two expressions, and then the final answer that you get is going to be equal to C. It's going to be 2085.